Carlos and Chase for Plum TV, and we are at the Bridgehampton Polo Club where it's Northwood against Black Watch. Who were the official ball thrower? How did this happen? Well, Heather didn't want to do it. <laughs> so I offered. Um, uh, they were very kind uh, to uh, offer it to me, and it was quite an honor. It's my first ball. <laughs> have you been to many polo matches in your life? I have actually. I, I do follow polo. I enjoy it, and I, I ride as well. So I love, I love the polo. So Heather, what brought you out today? Um, I uh, support the organization Youth Aids, which Kate Roberts is the founder of, my friend, and it's a great organization that educates and protects people all over the world um, from AIDS, and only $10 if you donate to uh, youthaids.org can save a life. Uh, $10 a year can save one person's life. And basically, youth are between the ages of 15 and 24 are the highest risk group, and it really targets them with pop culture. They do all those great ads that say, hear no evil, see no evil. Those, those really, necklaces? Yeah, it's a really, really great um, cause, and it's just uh, make the world a better place. <laughs> His backshot brings it down the sidelines, and there's Monteverde again for it. Monteverde's backshot picked up there by Nacho. Nacho getting that ball turned. He's ridden hard out of that play there by Nick Manifold. And there goes Andres. Andres Weiss is going to carry it through for Northwood. So what brings you out today? Um, well, they called and said, do you want to come watch a polo tournament and stay in a beautiful house in the Hamptons for a week? And I said, yes, absolutely, before they even finished the sentence. Plus, I've never, I've never gotten to see this game, and it's just it's really interesting. Do you have any experience with horses and riding? When I was younger, about seven years old, I was um, did an episode of this show called Father Murphy, and at that point I had to start training um, on a horse because the character rode a horse. And that's when I fell in love with horses, and I just absolutely love riding. Have you been to many polo games? I've been to a couple actually. Um, um, I think I came to one here before many years ago, but can't quite be sure. <laughs> so, does your dog know how to divot stomp? Uh, he does not know how to divot stomp yet, he does watch the game. He does. He watches the ball and he watches the plays and he barks when somebody scores. And which team is he voting for today? I think he's rooting for Black Watch today. So tell us about polo fashion. I mean, what, what should one wear to a polo match? This, to me, is the most elegant affair in, uh, in the United States. Uh, it's also very uh, fashionable in Europe. But people here are so understated. This is the fashion, the only fashion scene left in America. What do you think is the best thing to wear to a polo match? Well, something comfortable. Always comfortable. And today I went for a dress. I mean, I really like slacks and things like that. But, you know, the polo match, you should be slightly dressed, I think. It's rolled into the pack. And who's going to come on? And it looks like it's going to be Facundo. Facundo Pierre's on a breakaway. Nobody's going to be able to get to him. Montevideo tries to give chase. But it looks as if Facundo's going to be able to work this all the way to the goal, and he puts it through for Black Watch. Why is the game so exciting right now? Oh my god, the game's so exciting. You got Facundo Pieta's here, the nine goal. He just came in from London, and he's amazing to watch. I don't know if you watched him, but he can carry the ball. What's the score right now? The score right now is tied, 12-12. And what happens? And we're going into sudden death. Sudden Helmet. death. First goal, next goal wins. The next goal wins. Next goal wins. Is it common that a polo match would go into sudden death? We've seen a few of them out here at Bridgehampton over the past several years. It sure is exciting for the crowd when it's back and forth one goal at a time, back and forth throughout the match. Blackwatch is known as a team that likes to run, and today Northwood was able to match that intensity. So congratulations to you. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm pretty excited. The question you've been asked a gazillion times, what's it like to be the only woman on this polo team? 
Well, you know, I'm the only woman playing in this tournament and in the Northeast at this level, but there are a lot of women that play. When I go to Florida, there are a lot of women who are very good. Tommy Lee Jones' wife, Dawn, she's an excellent player. Sunny Hale won the U.S. Open in polo. So there are women that play. Um, and they're across the street at the Logo Club. There are so many women that play. So I hope to get more women playing here because it's really fun. And why do you guys think you won this match today? Um, I think we played really well as a team, and um, you know we were able to not let Facundo Pierres is an incredible, incredible player, and uh, Lucas Monteverde was incredibly disciplined and didn't let him, you know, take off a whole lot with the ball, and uh, and that ma that made a whole difference. So I think that's that's really and Andres Weiss, Nick. I mean, everyone played really well. We played well as a team. That's I think that's what wins bowl games.